Hey everybody. I'm going to walk you through how you would transfer Caspa off of your wallet onto an exchange and trade it for BTC or uh, USDT, whatever you choose. Like any other coin, you need to start out by having a wallet. So you'd go to mining pool stats, search for Caspa. From here, you can pretty much find everything you need to know uh, what the actual website is. All the official links will be down here. So you can go to caspa.org from there resources and then you'll see wallets you're going to get yourself a mobile wallet this is pretty straightforward you could just uh, basically walk through creating your seed phrase saving that seed phrase somewhere and then opening up the wallet the first step is going to be to create a password for this wallet Obviously make sure that it's something very secure. At this point, you're gonna get your seed phrase, save this somewhere offline, preferably. Now on this page, it's just gonna ask you to go over some of the words that you just hopefully saved. Now you can hit done and it'll create the wallet for you. So all you really need here uh, is your receive address. This is what you're gonna plug into your mining software to receive the coins. Once you actually have a balance in here, you'll be able to click on this send and it'll ask you for the recipient address and the amount of cash you want to send. So this is where you're going to go and you're going to figure out what exchange you're going to use. So you can go back to mining pool stats and here you'll see every exchange that currently has this coin. Uh, personally, I like Trade Ogre because it's KYC free. Uh, setting up a Trade Ogre, Trade Ogre account is pretty straightforward overall. Um, you're going to just walk through the steps of creating an account like anything else, it's just going to ask you to set up a username, password, confirm by email, and, and that's basically it. So what we're looking for here um, is your balance. From here, you can search for CAS. You could click on your deposit address, which is what you're going to need to send coins from your wallet to the exchange. You copy this address, head back over to your wallet. You're going to paste the full address, including the Caspa colon here, the amount of Caspa. So let's say 200. Uh, you can choose to include the fees or not. You see, I don't have enough balance in this wallet because this is a test wallet. But if you did, you could click send. And a few minutes later, you'll have that money in your Trade Ogre account. So if we go back to Trade Ogre, You'll see that I do have 201 Caspa at the moment. So now you'd go over to your markets. And again, you could search for CAS. And you'll see you have CAS to BCC or USDT, which is right here. I'm trying to trade it over into BTC. Uh, now there's a few things you can do here. You can see the current price is 0 0.00047. You could just put in your 201 and choose to sell it right here. And then it would just transfer straight to Bitcoin and be on a, a Bitcoin wallet held by CAS. Or you could choose to make a sell order basically. So say at 50 and sell, and then it'll add it to the your orders here. And you'll see if the coin gets up to 50, it'll sell. And if it doesn't get to 50, it just won't sell. And you can also cancel that at any time. So just to show you that, I'll put in an order of 48, sell, and you can see my order here at this time for 48. And if this continues climbing and gets to 48, it'll sell automatically. Basically, once it sells, you'll have an extra balance of Bitcoin. So you can see I have a little bit of Bitcoin in my Trade Ogre account already. From there, you can choose whatever you want to offboard this. I know if you're Canadian, ShakePay seems to be the easiest and the best. And if you're uh, from the US, there seems to be a lot of options in the US. Uh, Bitvavo, CoinSmart, CoinSquare, CoinBerry, lots of things that can just transfer straight into a bank account if that's what you want to do. And so if you wanted to trade that Bitcoin out, it would be the same process, basically. You would head over to your balances, you'd find your Bitcoin, you'd click on either Bitcoin to USDC, or you could go back to your balances again and withdraw Bitcoin. This is where you would put it to whatever address you're sending to, whatever wallet you want to put it in. 
I would strongly suggest not leaving your Bitcoin on an exchange, at least nothing with any real value. This is $12. It's not so much. Uh, I'm waiting till I get a little bit more to trade it off since there is a fee when you're transferring Bitcoin around. I hope that helps some of you explain a little bit more of the offloading part of mining Caspa and getting Bitcoin or getting whatever coin you want if you didn't want to hold Caspa for the long run. Um, if you found this useful at all, please subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. Good luck out there. Stay profitable.